real cheating stories. Unveil the truth. Don't miss out. Subscribe to Cheating Stories. My fiancé cheated on me with the worst kind of girl. I, 25 years old woman, and my fiancé, 27 years old man, met in Vancouver. I was a successful voice actress and he was a soon-to-be lawyer. When we first met, there was an instant connection and we decided to keep dating. As the days went by, I moved in. This was my first time moving with someone in their home. I was a bit scared as I have never depended so much on a man before. It took me several years to get over my exes or even go on trips with them as I have had traumatic experiences, such as them abandoning me in random places. A couple months after I worked long hours, eight shifts. We decided Vancouver wasn't the place for us as everything was expensive and he was fired from work. So I had to support us with whatever I was making. Long story short, I was having many meltdowns because I was being harassed in my job, as well as my pay became less and less because there were more competitive girls and I wasn't feeling or doing my best. I was having arguments with my fiancé I would come home and clean the house. He would cook and I would do the laundry and try to keep our home neat. We talked about moving to Mexico, where I am from, as cost of living was cheaper and I had bought my own place. We had many trips between Canada and Mexico, as well as he had invited me to meet his sister and his mom to England. They were both very welcoming and loving. We had arguments here and there, but nothing too harsh or significant in my opinion. We traveled to Italy for my birthday in February. Everything was fine. We come back to sell our stuff in Vancouver, sofa, kitchen stuff, the bed everything and the arguments kept going as I didn't want to go back to my job. He knew I was being harassed when we got ready to come down to Mexico a couple days past. I checked his phone and he had invited a girl over to have sex. He sent her pictures and tried to convince her to come through. I was feeling enraged. I woke him up immediately and slept him across the face. I was furious. My AirPods were missing that day and my Pandora ring as well. I called her and asked her to send me the full conversation. He had swore he never saw her and holds it to this day. When she texted me, both him and her were making fun of my appearance, saying that I'm not pretty and that I'm boring and bitter. They made comments about my body. During this time as well, we were trying to conceive. I spoke to his mom and I told her I didn't want him in Mexico anymore, and I didn't want to be with him as I was very heartbroken. His mom and my parents convinced me to stay, but I'm having so many doubts. He's tried to reassure me he will never do anything like that anymore, but I'm honestly having such a hard time. I feel unable to forgive him. I don't know what I should do. He wants to propose in July, but I don't feel like this is the man for me. Want suggestions to move on from this? That was another real cheating story. Please drop a line in comments. What do you think about it? I wish you a great day.